September 16 is Malaysia Day, a celebration to commemorate the formation of Malaysia as Malaya, North Borneo, Sarawak and Singapore come together to form Malaysia. However, Malaysia Day was first celebrated in 2009, 46 years after the formation of Malaysia. On the other hand, Merdeka or the National Day celebration on August 31st remains a prominent topic to be discussed on the media in September. Whereas the media presence of Malaysia Day remains low, despite it is just about a week for the celebration. The number of news on Malaysia Day barely reached 50 articles a day. Besides, Sabahans and Sarawakians often complain that the federal government put too much attention on National Day, which celebrates the independence of Malaya but not the formation of Malaysia. When it comes to the top person's list of Malaysia Day, Prime Minister Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad took the lead, appearing in 60 articles. But majority of the news on the Prime Minister were about the politics of Malaysia rather than on the celebration. Mostly were opinion pieces regarding the future of Malaysia under the leadership of Tun Mahathir and the Pakatan Harapan government. Meanwhile, PKR President Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim came in second position with 23 articles. Yet, most of the news on the Port Dixon MP was also politically angled. Anwar was invited by United Sabah Baja Organisation or USBO to be the guest of honour of the Malaysia Day Gathering. Subsequently, the rumour of Datuk Sri Salisek Keruah and Tan Sri Pandika Amin Mulia joining PKR started to surface. Regardless, the rumour was rubbished off by Pandikar. When it comes to the influences list, neither Mahathir nor Anwar were the topic influences for the topic of Malaysia Day. Instead, the list was led by Hazwan Hyrule, the branding executive of the Malay Daily Cosmo. He was busy promoting PNB Investment Quiz which is held in conjunction with Merdeka and Malaysia Day. Taking the second spot is Muhammad Rafi Ibrahim, the president of Hang Tuah Jaya Municipal Council. He announced that Zoo Malacca will be the new home for the white Bengal tiger named Elsa. Rafi said the zoo will be getting its new attraction for Malaysia Day. Meanwhile, the third position is held by DAP veteran Lim Kit Siang. He was commenting on the current scenario of Malaysia, particularly on the ongoing racial and religious issues in the nation. He urged Malaysians to put those issues behind as Malaysia turns 56 on September 16. Nevertheless, there are still a few days before Malaysia Day. Will the celebration gain high media exposure on those upcoming days? Or will it just peak on September 16?